Music is very near to nature, isn't it? And so is the fascinating hobby of nature craft. The materials are the simple little things you can pick up in the woods. Twigs, bark, moss, acorns, beech nuts, conkers, chestnuts, sycamore fruits. You know, those little wing-like seed cases. And cones of fir, pine, larch and spruce. Larch cones for head and body, stalk for beak, beads on pins for eyes, and here's an owl. Or as owl is perched on a branch with moss for grass and rushes for pine needles. And now for something larger. Fir cone for body, stalk for neck, sycamore fruit for head, twigs for legs, and one for game. And the result, if we promise never to say such a thing again, is very amusing. <laughs> and Ernie Emu is mounted on an elfin log, just like Oris. And off we go again. And this time we won't bother about the grass, seeing that the penguin is mightier than the sword. Well, well, well. And now we're going to make a but of course, we've told you. His body's an acorn, head a sycamore fruit, and flippers sycamore wings made to measure, and stuck in the side of the acorn, a coat, or rather a waistcoat of paint. And Percy Penguin, like Oris and Ernie, is ready to take the stand. Sammy Seagull at home. Mrs. Swan, caught in a reflective mood. And Florrie Flamingo is just a twig and a beech nut. A pretty bird sanctuary that's a triumph of nature craft. What an ideal hobby for boys and girls. 